Welcome back to Parafox. Welcome back to Parafox. Uh, I have a rant to talk about. Uh, what kind of rant is that? All right. What, what, do you, what, what you got to say, Scout? Hear me out. All right. I think that you should that you should be able to tip your mailman. I, <laughs> I am legally obligated to not have an opinion on this. I think that being a mailman is one of the most physically demanding jobs one could have being a normal civilian with no uh, previous expertise or uh, college degrees or anything. I do want to just add in, I did get fat again. And I am also a mailman. It is physically demanding, especially for city carriers. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of heavy lifting. I will say that my route's really nice because most of it's uh, CBUs, other postal employees out there. Ha ha, I win. But, but I think... It is, a, it is definitely hard work. I think... Also, thank you, construction workers. Go ahead. I think that, especially considering that Amazon workers uh, do not have any breaks whatsoever. Poop uh, bag, by the way. Uh, poop bag and pee bag. Uh, I mean, it's not even that. Sometimes, sometimes regular USPS mailmen also have uh, pee bottles and stuff like that because they have a very limited amount of uh, breaks that they can have as well. Well, I mean, technically with my contract, I get 30 minutes and you could use that however. Well, actually, I think it was 40 minutes, but the thing is with our union, we can actually go to the bathroom and that doesn't cons like, and that's like totally okay. It's like, you have to pee. That's with dope. Amazon. They're just like, you pooped. That's not in a bag. <laughs> that means you took a break. Like why even have a bathroom in your warehouse? That why point? not have a bathroom in the truck? Honestly, oh no, yeah. I'm actually giving them ideas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Actually, you know what? I want to I want to poop shoot in bro, the truck. Bro, literally make the front the front seat of the truck just a toilet. Just <laughs> <laughs> I mean just like a lift like lift up the cushion and it's a toilet. <laughs> that way you can poop on the go. <laughs> oh my god, could you fucking imagine that? A little poop shoot in the front seat. Honestly, which in all honesty, I don't think realistically, I would not want that. Well, yeah, no, realistically, I would not want that. That's not only one dystopian. Uh, I'm a very nervous pooper. All right. We come out with our own product. Parafox's poop shoot. Right? Parafox poop shoot. Yeah, we have it uh, installed onto your uh, your seat wherever you go, whichever car you want, whatever. It's a it's a it's a, a little toilet, right? No. Under a cushion. No. That you can lift up. I don't want to. And anytime on the go. Oh no. You can just lift that baby up. Maybe it maybe it comes with a a <laughs> nice little uh what are those things the the squirt water up in there. A bidet. Yeah, a nice You're little put a bidet. bidet. And uh, I <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. For and and then and then and then then. We hire Phil Swift no! to uh, to do these commercials, right? Oh my God, no! Parafox's poop shoot Perf for only uh, forty nine ninety nine a day. I don't. I want mean, not it. a day for only forty nine ninety nine per uh, per poop shoot. Hell, you can have it for any for any seat in the car. Have it for every seat in the car. Those fucking kids getting on your on your balls about being needing to go to no bathroom. Just yeah, tell them to Parafox the poop shoot. Yep. Just throw it out the window like a chamber pie in the Middle Ages. Oh my god, yeah. It comes like it comes with a pre-sealed bag that you put in there. That you can return to any Amazon driver you have. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with a uh, with a QR code. <laughs> no that you uh that you scan after you take out take the bag out from the poop shoot and you also oh. maybe get some in-store credit for uh for every <laughs> for every uh poop shoot bag that you scan uh it that is that is 50 cents credit towards your uh amazon account my body hurts listening to this <laughs> <laughs> parafox's poop shoot Power box poop shoot. Well, the poop's got to shoot at Fox. Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> we got to come up with a different slogan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what that reminded me of? Uh, what's that one Adult Swim commercial they made where they get the poop 
through the pipe. The poop pipe? The eye pipe? The eye plumber or something like that? What the fuck? There is actually like a like one of those uh, Adult Swim commercial short film kind of things. Yeah. And actually it's like you can like you can poop and the eye pipe is going to analyze the stool <laughs> and tell you you have cancer. <laughs> Bro, I love Adult Swim's like little skits that they do, like those uh those fake commercials that that one guy did where he like murders people. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forget what like the prem is. Isn't it like a broom or something? Oh, no, no uh, the broom shakalaka is where the guy like dismembers himself. Oh yeah, and then, <laughs> he has to sell the broom so his daughter can come back to life. Oh, that's right. The I one you're thinking that. of is too many cooks, and that was like oh. a that's like a show intro. But there's like a murderer trying to kill every one of the cast. <laughs> I think my favorite one so far has been uh, unedited footage of a bear, which is not strange at all. It's just unedited footage of a bear. <laughs> Nothing strange. I love I love Adult Swim. I think they're, they're just such a weird network. Like when they try I to remember like when it first came on the air, when they make their own little like commercials and stuff like that, it's always weird. Like. Have you have you ever seen Off the Air? No, I haven't. It is a wonderful show. It's basically really? 15 minutes where they take certain viral videos yeah. of particular subjects. So they'll say like, oh, the the subject is animals. Mm -hmm. And they kind of like DJ mix all of these different viral videos into like a psychedelic, uh, like a weird psychedelic overstimulation uh, bit for 15 minutes. It's absolutely wonderful. That's, I'm going to have to show you. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm showing you as soon as this episode's over, we're going to watch one episode. Even right uh, before we get into spooky games. Oh, yeah. It's uh, that time again. Even after our, uh, even before like intros of like, let's say Dragon Ball Super, yeah. uh, they have these like weird, like, it's not really weird. It's just since it's Adult Swim, I can't help but think it's weird. It's just like uh, a waterfall. It's just like random stock, uh, stock video of waterfalls and just like in a random corner you just see like the logo for Adult Swim. Yeah, I. it's kind of funny because back in the day uh, when Adult Swim first happened, it was just weird photos of a public pool. So you'd yeah. see like an old man swimming and sometimes that was just the bumper. And then they <laughs> did their uh, like their one-liners. Yeah. And like their, uh, their little like text-based bits. Yep. After a while. And then now they're like basically just... I don't know. The evolution of Adult Swim is so cool. Oh, shit. And they helped with two of my favorite rap. They helped me find two of my favorite, like, rap artists. MF motherfucking Doom. Rest in peace. The jewels. Rest in peace, MF Doom. Rest in peace, MF Doom. Holy fuck. And also, shout out to Killer Mike and LP. I'm on our show. We have no media clout, whatever. Yeah. Just, I, just, just yeah. do it for us. Could you imagine, like, Killer Mike and LP in this, uh in this room playing Pokemon <laughs> with us. They're just in the background. Like LP is literally like finishing off like a cap and stem. Like he's like, yeah, I got, he's still wearing his sunglasses. Just like, you know, I actually think, I think he'll, I think, uh, I think LP is probably a Pokemon master. I'm going gonna, gonna to put my cards on the table looks right like now. One. That's for sure. Oh yeah. Like, dude, you know, dude, he, he is, uh, he knows his shit a lot. Like he knows like a lot of old media. I would not be surprised if he was a Pokemon master. Yeah. Pokemon at master LP. <laughs> no, absolutely. He could actually, he could actually make sick beats with, uh, with like Pokemon music. Probably. I could, I could imagine it. The man's, the man is a engineer, engineer in his class. Essentially. I haven't actually seen killer Mike make any beats. Is he good at that? Uh, he's, mo uh, he's mostly a rapper. Uh, like, I, 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 I don't see. think he produces. Man, knowing his mind though, he probably could be good at it. I'm sure he can definitely, uh, I'm sure he could definitely like speak to what he wants to hear. And then, uh, you know, he can get some geniuses around him because he who, networks like that. Who was Killer Mike like brought up from? Like who, who kind of, uh, promoted him and stuff like that? Um. Or helped him promote? I, 
I'm going to be very incorrect about this, but basically he was friends with Big Boy for a long time. Big Boy? Yeah, and that really helped him get like some uh, some real underground fame. But basically once he met LP, like... Was it, LP it was, already uh, like... Uh, yeah, LP was already pretty much an established rapper. Yeah. Uh, not like established, established. He was like kind of underground, but like every rapper knew him. Like he would, like, it, it seems like... I mean, he'd make beats. Uh, he was with uh, the weird little squanchy cat that always shows up in all like the hip hop videos and shit. So he was well known in the rap. Yeah, he was like he was pretty he was pretty well established. Uh, I think it was in Brooklyn, but basically New York. All right, I might be wrong on that. If they if uh, Run the Jewels ever sees this, and I'm completely wrong, you could send uh, you send a letter to my house. <laughs> like I open a letter, and it's just like Killer Mike's. It's just. From the envelope just smacking <laughs> me in the face uh oh man but yeah i i wonder I, i'm really excited to show you off the air that was uh it was a game changer you'll also notice like a lot of the the videos that are in it too so i, I that's a nice little uh point and click uh seek and find game we'll play really yeah. i you know there are a lot of like content creators that have a very like unique uh style of making their videos but like they don't do like a bunch of work like uh for example like daily dose of internet yeah absolutely wonderful uh channel it's but he's uh he he makes compilations Let's, exactly yeah yeah that's a that is one of those things it's just like i mean i, I wouldn't consider ourselves like to be the highest effort well yeah but no. we still sit here and create the content like it, you know like the hasanabi like clip channels yeah yeah like th those dudes actually have to go out like go through like old uh pods and stuff and really find their shit oh yeah and like, like it's a lot of like seek and find i'm not saying it's not work but it's like man yeah major respect to uh people who make like highlights and compilations you guys are doing a great service i am a i am I'm not proud of it, but I do consider myself a little bit of a YouTube of a YouTube frog for Asanabi. Yeah. And it uh like I do I do like watching his streams, but there's just like a lot of times where I'm too busy to like just go on there. I, I don't know if I really actively watch streams anymore. Like yeah. honestly, whenever I whenever it's streams, usually I do a lot more like commentary stream. Yeah. Because usually I'm at work, so I just have it in my like headphones and stuff. So say like, oh, I, I don't have anything I want to watch that's like four hours long or a Quentin review iCarly mm -hmm. rabbit hole that I could go down for uh, on YouTube or there's not like music out that I want to listen to yeah. or I've gone through all my podcasts. I'll turn on like a commentary Twitch stream. And most of the time it's, well, Hassan. I will say, uh, one of my favorite things that I like to do, uh, when it comes to like going on stuff, uh -huh. I like to go on, uh, I like to go on Vosh's, uh, stream when it's like late at night. Oh, the and offline he's, chat? Yeah. He's, They're fucking weird, dude. Well, not, not just, yeah. not just the offline chat, but like when, when Vosh is like playing games at one in the morning and oh, yeah, there's because like for some not reason a, a sleep of, schedule is not a thing to him. Yeah. There's just like not a lot of people on the stream because it's like one in the morning. I, I, I love to, I love to go there because well, higher chance that I, that my message gets noticed by Vosh, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Punk. It gives you that little, uh, dopamine. Like my streamer notices me. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a couple streamers I really like, uh. Nixie can be pretty entertaining sometimes, but I can't necessarily stay there long. You uh, uh, you introduced me to this really cool guy. Uh, his name is Shark something. Oh, Sharky O three zero. Yeah, he uh he he has a lot of really cool uh takes. I think he's also really into photography, which is pretty dope. Yeah, he's he's really good. Uh, he does like a lot of like pop culture stuff. Uh, he'll do politics too, which is always nice. Yeah. But it, it is nice having just like a different person to check. I used to, when I used to stream, I used to rate him a lot. Oh, that yeah. and uh, Polly People, she's pretty good. Uh, hers is just strictly politics. She talks strictly politics though. Yeah. So that is like, if I'm doing like, that's if I'm really doing my politics streams. But if I've done like a game stream mm -hmm. and I want to offload onto something, I usually choose uh, Shark or uh, there's another guy and he's like one of my followers and I used to rate him too. I can't remember. Uh, but we, also we had like one of my friends who's also a streamer, like one of my personal friends. Is and then there's the Vosh who can, who can somehow debate someone while playing a video game. I, dude, I <laughs> wish I had that capability. Yeah. He has like, 
he has like super brain like he has just those extra wrinkles where he could just do that like it because i have a hard time just talking and playing video games in this setting yeah and this man is like doing a debate well now he's also on adderall oh yeah that must be great he just has laser vi laser pointed focus at all times man that is <laughs> that is absolute my uh my pots just arrived your pots are right yeah now i get to transplant my plants let's go man should I do that now before we go to the next time on Parafox? That was a worse segue. That 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 actually was the we last we're, episode we tried to say, oh, next episode we're gonna find out a better segue into the <laughs> outro. And I've only de what's de evolution? Is that a good word for it? We've taken uh, a big step backwards because I did it. We have devolved. We've devolved. Er, We've dissolved. Yeah. We have bad. We are bad. We are bad. On the next episode Parafox of Parafox. Parafox bad. <laughs> <laughs> On the next episode of Parafox, uh, we are going to be playing a spooky game. Yeah. Um, or maybe it's one of these. Or I don't know how knows? the upload schedule is going to go. Who knows? But on the next episode of Parafox, we'll be playing games and talking. <laughs>